I'll take a stab at that. Um, part of the issue in California is the fact that they create mandated benefits for the uninsured population, the Medicaid population, and they have a big population that comes across the border over there. And uh, those people present themselves to the emergency room that we talked about earlier, which is the least efficient, most expensive form of health care that drives up the costs. Uh, and the state cannot afford to pay for the Medicaid services. So it's a problem from, from the standpoint of what they call undocumented people in this, in this country in terms of uh, how, how much money is actually going to pay for health care. Uh, it's, it's in the hundreds of millions of dollars in each state, in each state. And I'm trying to think of a study that I could send you to. Um, where we hear this a lot is one where you're talking about California, Nevada, Texas. Um, those states in particular are being slammed, obviously, uh, because of their proximity specifically to Mexico. Um, where we also hear this topic come up quite a bit is when we're trying to assess the true number of uninsured. And this, you hear this all the time. That number has grown since the former first lady, Mrs. Clinton, started talking about 30 million uninsured. It's now 47 seems to be the common number. Well, we know there's been a lot of work slicing and dicing that number. We know that there are, are students that don't want insurance and are refusing it. We know that there are plenty of people that could be on Medicaid that are not taking the advantage of those particular programs. And of course, we know the number that we're hearing is that there may be 8 to 10 million of the 47 are undocumented workers. How many? 8 to 10 million. Way more than that. 